now in Indiana. Traveling around the horn. Highway 50, exit 16, Greendale and Lawrenceburg and Aurora, one mile. Greendale, Lawrenceburg. Kentucky, Greater Cincinnati Airport, 13 miles. The Ohio River. Kentucky, where I sang the other day, my old Kentucky home at Old Timers Day. Been going there, playing and singing 
since the early 1970s with my dad and playing the fiddle and the singing and French harp and my brother playing the guitar and singing the old wood stove at Rabbit Ash, Kentucky. Try to go down there every year. Next year will be the 43rd the annual Old Timers Day. Museum right there. Great place to visit, and the Ark is a great place to visit. I highly recommend them for everybody that's interested in history and the Bible.
and Georgia only. Visit Ralph's American Grill in Wellington, Ohio, or Ralph'sGrill.com to learn more. Hello, I'm Jay Whitt. On 9-11, I lost my brave brother, Glenn, in the collapse of the World Trade Center. Glenn was a volunteer firefighter who died in the line of duty. Glenn's bravery inspired me to help start the nonprofit that's turned September 11th into a national day of service. For 9-11 this year, please join me by doing what Glenn would have done, taking time to help others. Please visit 911day.org to learn more. Welcome back to the festivities. I'm Pam Brew, 142 on this Saturday. Sixteen NFL teams are making road trips this week in week, in week one. Well, let's just do the math. There's 32 teams, 16 are on the road. But if former NFL player Ricky Williams had his way on those flights back home, every single player would be offered a duty, a blunt. Just light them up and let them fly. Ricky Williams, who, by the way, legally changed his name to Eric Myron, I didn't know that, but apparently he's now going by Eric Myron. Has advocated for the league to go in this direction for a while now. Uh, and uh, he made a startling statement to TMZ Sports. He said, did he be on a plane riding home when he played for, I guess, the Saints? And the trainer would walk down the aisle offering players Ambien or Vicodin. And uh, Ricky said, well, why wasn't he walking down the aisle saying, hey, do you need any of this? Do you need any of that? How about something like this, which would be a joint? Why is the NFL slow to the take on this? Because the NBA, in its new collective bargaining agreement with uh, its players, removed marijuana testing completely. Standing by is somebody who knows we very well. He is the outspoken advocate for the marijuana industry. As his own TV show, Weed and Whiskey TV, we've had the J-Man on before, Jerry Joyner. It's great to have him on now again. Jerry, how are you on this glorious Saturday? Well, I was doing any better. Can I be the twin brother? It's a little cooler down here in Texas. We got a little rain, so we're, we're, we're less than 107 degrees today. I thought you were going to say I'm high and mighty. Well, you know, I'm... I am, I am high and I'm mighty, but I've never gotten so high I wanted to change my name. <laughs> you and me both, brother. Now, let's talk about this. So, you know, you, so I don't know if you've ever played professional football. I have not. But I, I watched it. it. And you, you watched it. Yeah, you're like me. <laughs> but so, so what, what uh, the, the athlete formerly known, the artist formerly known as Ricky Williams said, that on the plane ride home, they ought to be just offering weed to players. Uh, first of all, I would think that even if you didn't want weed, you would get a contact high inside the plane. That could be a problem. But what? Well, we got real blockage here, all the way on the from the Ohio River coming east here to 2020 at the airport, blocked off to one lane. Really slowed us down to a crawl here. And I was hoping to make one complete round here and close to it. But my old body has a calling. <laughs> it says, your time is running out, big boy. At 80, you don't have the endurance <laughs> that you once had running the two-mile race. trip though watching all the people drive with their flags their hearts for freedom 
quite a statement for them to make. Good reception with WIOK 107.5 FM on the radio dial. Tri State Gospel, Post Office Box 50, Falmouth, Kentucky, 41040 zip code. Join us on www.begottenson.com or www.jstevenson.com for John Stevenson or on Facebook, YouTube. Under Travels with John Stevenson. Still got the flags waving up there. Quite a statement. All around Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, and back to Kentucky. for freedom. Freedom Ride, 
Cincinnati, Lexington, Louisville, two miles. Praise the Lord. Lexington to Louisville and north of Cincinnati. North of Cincinnati here. Head over to the barber shop. We made our round for our freedom. You'll see if Todd Newton and Daryl Newton, or maybe even Harry Sparrow might be there. Some of the other old time barbers. At Sparrow and Newton's Barber Shop, Fort Wright, Kentucky.
there. Used to be Charlie McKeever's. 1985, July the 28th. We got married on March the 31st, 1989. Took off one of our first trips across the United States and into Europe. Eight countries in Europe. Europe by train on our honeymoon. Filmed it all, and it's all can be seen on YouTube and Facebook. Murder or manslaughter after their children died from exposure to the opioid fentanyl. We get more of that from correspondent Jackie Quinn. Some 20 states now have homicide laws that stem from drug use, allowing prosecutors to charge someone with murder who supplies or exposes a person to drugs that kill the victim, and that includes their children. But California has no such law, so several prosecutors are using a drunk driving statute. It's being tested now in the case of Tabor Waite and Colin Cottrell of Riverside. Their 14-month-old daughter, Allison, died of a fentanyl overdose, a drug found on the couch and throughout the Apartment. Cottrell's attorney says the father did not intend for his child to die, but prosecutors are going for a Go murder. into my freshest friends. To find more of these stories at srnews.com from Washington, I'm Bob Agnew. The Kittle family will be in concert at the Berry Baptist Church, 306 Main Street, Berry, Kentucky, Sunday morning, September the 17th at 10 a.m. Come and join two hours of Southern Gospel singing and preaching. Come early and get a good seat. The Kittle family singing at the Berry Baptist Church, September the 17th, starting at 10 a.m. For more information, call 859-620-2664. And keep it right here for the best in gospel music. Here's a simple truth about higher education. Praise the Lord. Well, here we are, folks, believe it or not, back home on the 3L Highway. Thank goodness for Frisius was available up in Fort Wright because whew, that's a long ways for this old 80-year-old man to go without going to the restroom. Believe me. Gee willikers. <laughs> they went the long way around on 275, way up high, the loop. I got confused there. I just followed them until I hit Indiana. Then I knew some different way here. But anyway, I had a great time with them, enjoyed it, finding all the flags and seeing all the people tooting their horns. Freedom, freedom, freedom ride, freedom ride. Great. Just sing my old Kentucky home for them too. And let's turn back on uh, and see if we can get a little 
gospel music here on yep there it is famous station WIOK 107.5 on the radio dial FM going underneath 275 now here Team Kenton, down there's where the school board meets, down there. They do a good job in Kenton County. Good folks. And I'll head out here, got my little sandwich. And uh, June put me a little snack in, so I ate one of the bags of pretzels and a little bit of my popcorn white cheddar popcorn and uh, but I have my Frisch's uh, sandwich fish sandwich and a little order onion rings here at Pioneer Park and uh, then I'll head on home for some rest be with Miss June maybe we'll watch uh, one of those favorite shows she likes to watch I think the one is Midsummer Murders or something like that. She likes to watch. I accuse, I accuse her of taking notes on what she's going to do to me. <laughs> she says she's taking notes. <laughs> Charlie Meyer Highway. We don't know what's going in here. We're not for sure. I'm going to have to make a phone call and find out what it is. Build a nice facility there, though. Off to the side of the road. What school are y'all from? What school are y'all from? Huh? What school are y'all from? This ain't no school, it's family reunion. Oh, what is it? It's a family reunion. 
Oh, family reunion. Fantastic. A family reunion. Praise the Lord. He even got a little family reunion picture. Family reunion. Wonder what family it is. What family are you all from? Uh, What's the name of the family? Seven. Oh, fantastic. Seven. Don't forget you're from Kentucky. Vote for Daniel Cameron. Boy, I tell you what, you just hang around and get all kinds of people you meet. Wonderful people. Let's see here. Here at Pioneer Park. This is where we come to a lot of times down here for family reunions. We've come down here, other reunions. Of course, I had my pioneer days down here with the Robinson family singers entertaining and, and uh, with Harry Sparrow and the, his band. Oh, we got a good crowd here today. Have they got a just a family reunion, ma'am? Is this a family reunion? Yes. What's a family? Hicks. Hicks? H I C K S? H I C K S. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition of godly principles. There you go. Love y'all. You Have fun. <laughs> oh, we got a good crowd in here, I'll tell you. What's any kin to Jack Hicks? Well, he was a famous reporter for Kentucky Enquirer. I loved him. He's a good man. Wonderful reporter. Got a crowd. <coughs> Kids in the creek. Nothing like a creek with kids. With all of my regrets towering over me, standing in your presence, I would see. That's how much I need to see.
tank of gas now. Save 50 cents on the gallon at Kroger's. And head it home. Get votes. Vote for Daniel Cameron for governor, Kentucky. Leadership and honesty, godly principles. Great following around the whole 275 circle today for a cause of freedom. As a government teacher, it's my job to teach young people about the Constitution, about godly principles, how they came about, the history of our government, and how we function under our Constitution with rights first given to us by God and protected by our Constitution, Bill of Rights, standing up for freedom. We fought many wars to protect freedom. Many people, thousands, millions, have given their lives to protect our freedoms. We must do our best to protect our freedoms, whether we're 80 years old, 90 years old, or whether we're 18 years old. Go vote, get informed, ask questions, listen to your parents, listen to your family. Look around you, listen to your teachers, your government teachers. Read your Bible. That's what the first schools were started for, was to teach young people how to read their Bibles. Let's not forget, history is the light to our future and the pathway to our past. Seek justice, wherever we are, whether it be President Trump, myself, or anybody else. Seek justice and honesty. And remember, there will be those that will falsely accuse for greed, for their own reasons. Seek justice. Listen to the truth. That's what helps us keep our government intact. Honesty. Thankfully, we got a good judge, 
Kenton County, Judge Knockleman, and the fiscal court. In fact, all of our judges across northern Kentucky are good people. We have a great area. Are we perfect? No. But do we strive to be perfect? Strive to do what's right? Yes. Sometimes we make mistakes. We have to forgive each other. Remember, the greatest gift God gave us is the gift of love. Read your Bible. Read your scriptures. Learn. It's the Holy Spirit's job to convict. God's job to judge. My job to love. I love to listen to WIOK 107.5 FM on the radio dial. And I love to sing a little verse or two of I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather be his than have riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus than houses or lands. I'd rather be led by his nail pierced hand than to be the king of a vast domain or be held in sin's dread sway. I'd rather have Jesus than anything this world affords today. God bless you all. I hope you have a good day today. Enjoy yourselves. Join us on YouTube and Facebook. And thanks to all the people that are in the ride today for freedom around Kentucky, Ohio, and Indiana, making the circle of 275. God bless you on Ronald Reagan Highway. In Jesus, we ask it. Amen. Travels with John Stevenson here, 859-750-0000, here at the Independence Courthouse, the old courthouse. A lot of history here. Independence and in Simon Kenton High School, 1961. University of Kentucky, 1970. God bless you all. Have a great day. State Gospel, WIOK. 570. Southern Kentucky Gospel, WIDS. Beautiful song. We were part of a 
thriving ministry. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we were told that we had to stop. It was a tragic time for the church, and Governor Bashir just, he didn't seem to care. He shut down all the churches in Kentucky, leaving our congregations, our communities, without any support when they needed it the most. And I know that there's some churches, even in our own community, that never reopened. We need a change in government. And he can't be trusted to govern Kentucky ever again. We're talking to Mark, and explain to us why I ask about your wife, because I happen to know that she has many connections with Northern Kentucky. Uh, Julie was born in Fort Thomas Highlands, and uh, uh, or in the Fort Thomas area, not the Highlands, but in the Fort Thomas area. And um, her father was then working for the University of Kentucky uh, in Northern Kentucky, and she happened to be born there. So uh, she's she's very proud of that connection. Well, I'm very proud of that too, since my wife is from Fort Thomas and, and Southgate and, and went to Highlands herself, and I graduated from over Simon Kenton, so we've always had a good little rivalry with each other. Amen to that. But now, Campbell County has uh, quite a bit of history does. with where you're from also, right? Yes, um, Fort Thomas is named for General George H. Thomas, one of the principal Union commanders, and uh, uh, General Thomas... Uh, is, was in command at Camp Dick Robinson in Garrett County, which was the first Union training and recruitment encampment in the South uh, during the Civil War. He trained the Army that won the first Union victories in the West. They won the engagement at Wildcat Mountain in Laurel County, and then they defeated handily uh, the Confederate Army that marched across the Cumberland. And the, that Army that George H. Thomas trained and marched um, won the big battle at Mill Springs in Wayne and Pulaski counties. And it's the first large Union victory in the war in the West. Well, we've got some great ties and connections with both you and your wife for all of Northern Kentuckians to appreciate. We certainly do. And having been here all my life myself and having had the opportunity to film the history of all 120 counties in Kentucky, I can highly recommend you for this position because you're not only very intelligent but you your wife is very intelligent and works with you and uh, her name is her name is Julie uh, Julie Katchen Metcalf and uh, Julie and I married uh, at our anniversary yesterday is that right yes how many years is that uh, we've been married let's see eight years eight years well I just uh, had my birthday uh, Monday and turned 80 so and my wife turned 71 uh, about four days earlier so i always kid her and tell her in those four days i'm only eight years older than her <laughs> and she <laughs> says right. but the day after today then i'm uh, eight, uh, 10 years older than her so well you know we're uh, julie and i are both born in september we have birthdays this month very similar to you and your wife um and julie and i uh, were married uh eight years ago on september 5th and uh, people ask me what it's like to be married and I, to my wife, and I said, well, you say it's eight years ago, but it only seems like eight minutes. So. That's right. That's right. Well, God bless you and wish you well and, and drop back up here as often as you can and visit us in northern Kentucky. Thank you. And we appreciate your conservative look on how to deal with the debt that the state's in and how to handle it responsibly. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. And your website again is? Metcalf for Treasurer. Dot com and uh, uh, viewers can also find our donation site. It's a win red site. And there's a button at metcalfortreasurer.com. It's a win red button. People can give there. And you're from where in Kentucky? I'm from Garrett County. I'm born and raised there. Educated there. Went to school. Uh, went to grade school, high school there, and then went to the University of Kentucky for my undergraduate degree as well as my law degree. And then served the United States Army? Uh, I uh, served 29 years. 29 years. Praise the Lord. And uh, I just uh, want to say red, yellow, brown, black, and white, we're all uh, precious in Jesus' sight. Amen to that. God bless you, and thank you so much. And thanks for bringing your wonderful wife along with you. Thank you, sir. It's an she honor to be with her and to be here with you all. Thank you now. Thank you.